Hello. So today I'm out walking my poochies <laughs> and was contemplating personal branding and your personal brand archetype because this is a topic that I've been discussing with some of my mastermind clients. And when you think about it, there are um, commonly known in the advertising and marketing fields, 12 brand archetypes. And many companies build their archetype around who their customer or client base is. And so who they feel they need to represent for their client. And whilst that may sound like it makes sense, when it comes to your personal brand and building a brand new brand, it really doesn't support you. Because customer desires and wants can change. And ideally you wanna build a brand new brand around you, around your strengths and your passions and your abilities and what makes you and your values unique. And so you're far better off thinking about when you look at the archetypes, which one resonates with me the most, which one represents who I am. And then building on that, thinking about, well, how do I show up and be an even kind of greater, more leveraged, more magnified version of that archetype of myself. So it should be an extension of who you are. So you can think about then, how do I walk? How do I talk? How do I dress? How do I show up? What kinds of things do I do for my clients? How do I deliver my services? How do I talk about myself? What language do I use? And really just building everything then around that archetype. So for myself, for example, my business brand archetype is the hero. So UQ Power is all around creating heroes, saving the world, empowering people, people feeling powerful, creating cultures that can do big things. Um, we dress up in capes. Our colors of our brand are black, white and red. They're very bold. And it's all about succeeding, working together, empowering people to be their best self. And so that's a really good fit for our business brand. But for me personally, it's not my personal brand new brand. So my brand is more around the archetype of explorer. Hence why these videos are brought to you in nature. And often I'm walking along the beach or a coastline or a forest or the bush, much like this, because my archetype is the explorer and I really want to explore and go deeper from the aspect of going within, so exploring the inner bounds, as well as externally, so exploring nature, exploring the world, um, having adventure. Other brands that use the Explorer archetype are companies like Jeep, and you see a lot of that in their marketing and advertising. So yeah, maybe you'd like to reflect on which of the 12 archetypes reflects you and your passions and your strengths and your brand. Uh, maybe you're the innocent, maybe you're the everyman. And I know I've been working with a council, a local government, and their archetype is definitely the everyman. They want to appeal to the everyman. They want to build a sense of community where everyone's equal and feels included um, and valued. And so that's a really great fit for them. Perhaps you're a magician. Um, and you're all about possibility and creating things out of nothing. Or maybe you're the creator and you're all about innovation, creativity, ideation, um, mishmashing of ideas together. So you can just go and Google the 12 archetypes of brand and you'll find loads and loads of references and information about them. Perhaps it might be worth thinking about how do I incorporate a bit more of my brand archetype into what I do and how I show up because it really is in essence about who you're being. Anyway, I hope that's useful for you. Enjoy! <laughs>